Hello friends, welcome back. Today we're going to generate an array of all object keys with object.keys. <laughs> we can also generate an array which contains all keys stored in an object using the object.keys method and passing it in, passing in an object as the argument. This will return an array with strings representing each property in the object. Again, there will be no specific order to the entries in the array. So we want to finish writing the get array of users function so that it returns an array containing all the properties in the object it receives as an argument. So basically we just want to return objects and then um, yeah, we're going to put this in here. So it's going to be object dot keys and we're going to in there we're going to add where it's been passed in. And so this is the way to do it. Um, yeah, I think you run the test that should pass. Um, the Base, yeah, they, that's just basically the idea. We're passing in, so we've, let's run through this program all the way through. First off, we have a variable called users, which is equal to an object with Alan, Jeff, Sarah, and Ryan in it. We store this in memory, and then we move, the program moves on to the next one, and it stores this function in memory. This function returns a, an array of the keys in the object, so that is equal to this array here, Alan, Jeff, Sarah, and Ryan. Alan, Jeff, Sarah, and Ryan. Interesting, it's in the right order, even though it's not doesn't say that it has to. And then finally, we're console.logging the result of this function passing in the users element. So the users becomes here and here. And then because the you, this renders out to an array of the uh, keys, which is Ryan, Sarah, because this is the key and then this is the value, this is the key, this is the value, this is the key, this is the value, this is the key, this is the value. And so then um, we run through there, and so each of the keys is, this This thing gets, gives us each of the keys in an array, and that renders out to here. And that's the right answer. So, hope you guys enjoyed this one, and we'll see you in the next lesson.